What's going on guys? Let's do a little trade idea on Tesla. So Tesla with the rest of the market on that CPI print uh, gap down, right? So we had a nice, nice gap down here in the overall market. It's a bit of a sell off, nothing to be too concerned about here. Again, guys, a lot of these stocks, you know, they're, they've still got a ways to go before we start talking about putting in new lows, okay? So with that being taken into account, uh, it's 11.06 a.m. Pacific Standard Time here. Now, Tesla's getting a nice little bit of a bounce here. We were down almost as much as 12 points on the day's session, and currently right now we're down about nine. So we're still down 3% on Tesla for the overall session, and we're currently trading at $295.35. But one thing that I do kind of want to point out here is off this gap down, we initially lost this 200-day moving average as well as the five-day. We came down and we tested this Bollinger Band, and you can see here is trying to fill this little bit of gap that we had here from the 8th of September into the ninth, right? So if we kind of see this little bit of gap here, we did get this quick fill. Now, anything below today's lows of around $290, take it for what you want. We will have room down and I'm almost certain, again, my opinion, but I will be certain anything below today's lows does test that $288 level. Now for me, I don't really wanna take any more short positions on Tesla until we close below the 20 day moving average. That price of $288.65, I need to see a daily candle close under that $288.65 before I even start to get remotely excited about continuing my short position. Now, was there opportunities to short today earlier in the day? Yes. In fact, I took multiple trades on Tesla today. Three, in fact, two of them were to the long side on some uh, dead cat bounces that we're currently getting now. And one of them was a short off the open. So with that being said, I don't want to get back into a short off the open when we're in a potential dead cat bounce. I hope that makes sense but i also do not want to just start a new long position here because we still could get rejected so what i want to wait and see happen today is does tesla close over this 200 day moving average now if we close over the 200 day moving average on a daily time frame guys i'm looking at daily candlesticks here the yellow line that you see on my screen i know i've got a lot of a lot of things going on here but just try to keep up this yellow line here is the 200 day moving average this is a granddaddy master of them all if Tesla closes over the 200 day moving average today, I will be bullish on Tesla for the remainder of the week until we lose the 200 day moving average or the five day moving average, which is this green line that you see here. Then I will turn a little bit more bearish for the short term, but necessarily do not want to start a bearish trade until we lose $288.63. Hope that makes sense. So what I will be looking for on Tesla is to get over these highs of today. That price is sitting at $297.50. Anything over that, I will start a long position. Now, whether that day trade turns into an overnight hold is yet to be determined. I need to see the price action and the overall flow of the market. But again, guys, NASDAQ 100 is down. 550 points the triple q's today okay are down four and a half points so the nasdaq 100 does not look good so even though even though you we can have a daily chart like tesla yes look a little bit beat up today on the gap down doesn't look horrible right we're still over the 50 day moving average the 10 the 20 we're still over a lot of levels of supply and you know this in fact could finish as an indecision candle today you know it could lose 290 and go lower it could reclaim 297 and go higher a little bit of patience is going to be needed however when you look at something like the triple q's the triple q's look absolutely atrocious so not only did they gap down below their 50-day moving average but also the 20 the 100 and the five-day moving average. This looks like it wants to come back down and test some of these recent lows here, going all the way back down to $290 that was put in on the 6th of September. Now, if the triple Qs start to confirm today's lows, which we are still putting in lows as we speak, building this floor now, as of right now, it's 297, but if the triple Qs start to lose 297, guys, we've got a lot of room down, okay? We've got six, seven points to work with here down. So 
<clears throat> if the triple Qs continue to build below their five day and 10 day moving average here, I don't know how much I'm gonna wanna be sitting long on a stock like Tesla. Maybe I'll just go ahead and let Tesla go ahead and bounce and consider this uh, a rejection at the 200 day moving average and then look for that short position through today's lows and also that bigger one that I would like is that 288.45, 288.50, which is that 20 day moving average here we lose this then i know we've got some room down to around 284 this is a trade that i'm going to want to be involved into the downside hope that video helps if you guys want to learn more on how you guys can day trade options um or even futures the nasdaq and the s p futures join my discord that link is down in the description box below if you guys just like content and you guys like levels and getting trade ideas make sure to like comment and subscribe i will see you guys all on the next video